Hi there, welcome back to the 14th video Learn Excel with Karpakam. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the cell reference and the different types of a cell reference. Knowing about the different types of cell references saves a lot of your time and majority of the time you would have been very much frustrated because of this reference and not knowing how to handle it. I'm going to show it to you today. The most widely used cell reference is the relative references and the second type is absolute reference and the third one is going to be mixed reference. What exactly are relative references? Say for example, I have got the item here, MRP and the quantity. When I want to calculate the amount, I want Excel to look into the MRP and quantity of eggs and calculate and similarly for biscuits and every other detail. Let's say what exactly I'm going to do. I'm going to choose the MRP into the quantity available here and when I hit enter I'm going to get the total amount and when I just drag it down you can see the amount varies it's nothing but it's taking a relative reference when I look up when this one it's going to be d7 e7 and when I look at this d8 and e8 but any point of time if you want to know what is the formula that you have used in order to arrive to certain calculations select it and go and use control and tilt you will be able to see the entire formula for your entire range. Whatever the formula that you have used for your entire range, you will be able to see. Again, control tilt, it gets you back. So when you look into this, it has taken the relative references of each and every cell and has given you the final amount of this particular product. Let's move on to the next one. The next one, what exactly I'm going to look, uh, look into is absolute reference. Absolute reference is little tricky but it is not as tricky as a mixed references. When you use uh, absolute references, it's going to fix a certain area or certain portion as a fixed one and keeps the rest as a variable. See, for example, here, the same table I have imported here. What exactly I'm going to do is, I just want to calculate what is the total amount that it's, I'm going to incur. Again, I'm going to use the relative references here. And E7, click enter and I'm just going to drag it down. So I got the amount now. Now, what exactly I want to do is, there is a tax on this particular amount. So what I have to do is, I'm just going and choosing, this is going to be a relative reference because the amount varies for the eggs and the biscuits and the every other item in the range into, and I'm going to take this one. What exactly you have to do is, just go and place your cursor here and press F4 when you press F4, you can see $2 symbol is inserted. The $2 symbol denotes absolute reference. When I say absolute reference, it doesn't move the column nor the row. It's completely fixed. Whenever you instruct Excel, it will go and look for this value, 60 into 12. Okay, let me just drag it and show you how exactly you can see. I'm going to use tilt, control and tilt to show you what exactly is that we have done. So when you look into it, you can see F7, this F7 you can see into G5 it has taken again F8 into G5 so it goes and look for the relative references here and take the fixed reference here and let me go back so when you look into F13 F14 everywhere you you can see it has taken G5 as the reference to calculate so now you can see the tax is calculated and you no know, I need the total is going to be sum of this one plus this one for the total to arrive. So in total, I'm going to pay, this is what I'm going to pay for each and every one of the category. And now I'm just going to do alt equal to, this is what the total sum I will be paying. So now you have looked into what we have used a relative reference and absolute references here. Let's move on to the next one, mixed references we are going. So now what happens here is, I have got the item, price and quantity for the relative and absolute reference. In the mixed reference, I'm just going to give you another scenario. This is what the quantity of these items I need on a weekly basis. And I just want to know if this is going to be my weekly consumption, how much quantity do I need for the second week, third week and fourth week. We have seen relative reference and absolute reference. I'm just going to demonstrate to you what is going to happen here. So let's say this is what the quantity which we are looking at. And this is what the week. So 
when I hit enter, you can see this is what it's going to be. I'm just dragging it down. Oh my God, 15 into one becomes 4,680. And let me just drag it to the right. You can see what exactly went wrong. You may say the space was not sufficient. Let me increase the column width. What exactly happened? And let me use control tool to show you what has happened here. When you look into this, it has taken instead of D8 into E7, D8 into E7 it has taken. Then this one has taken D9, the right one, into E8. E8 is this value it has taken. So when you look into it, it just go and look into this one and takes this value, this one and takes this value. You can see. It has taken 12 into 1, 12, and 12 into 4, 4 into 12, 48, 2 into 48, 96, 4 into 96, it has taken. So, which means the relative references is not working here. Okay, let references, you have seen it's not working. You may be asking what happens if I can lock certain part of the cell. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you now. So what happens? We have seen the relative references. So we want this to be a relative one and we want this to be a fixed one. So what you can do is I can hear that you can go and take a relative reference and then you can make it as a absolute reference. OK. Let me show you what happens here. And let me drag it down. What went wrong here? You used a relative reference and absolute reference here. Control tilt again. You can see it keeps the same value here. D8 into E7. D8 is this value and E7 is this value. So 12 into 1, it shows 12. So again, E8 into E7. Again, it goes and takes E8 is again 12. It copies 12, 12, 12 here. And again, you can see control and tilt I'm using you can see four it has taken four so which means this is also not okay now what is the next method that we can work with so you can see relative reference is not working here absolute reference is not working here let's look at this is where you will bring in mixed references here when we talk about a mixed references what exactly it's going to happen here okay I'm just going to show you one important factor here okay when you look into this, you can see D8 and E8. What I can do when I just go and press function F4 key first shows it's a absolute reference. This one is a relative reference and with two dollar symbol, it shows it's a absolute reference. Next one, you can see E$7, which means the row is locked. Whenever you happen to see the dollar sign in front of anything, this is the column, E is the column and 7 is the row. So the row is locked here. And again, let me go and press F4. Now E7 is locked. So which means the column is locked here. Earlier the row was locked and right now the column is locked. So you want to see how this is going to work. Okay, let me just drag it. Again, the same problem we run. I'm looking this quantity over a week, how it varies. This is what I want. So your row is also fixed and your column is also fixed, which means 12 into 1, 12 into 2, 12 into 3, and 12 into 4. This is what we want Excel to look into. So what exactly I'm going to do? Just choose D8 into E7. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to d8 is from you can see d8 is from the column i'm going to lock the column function f4 thrice you can see the column is locked now i'm going to the row and locking the row function f4 once twice it's locked now when i hit enter 12 you have got i'm just dragging it down right and to the down now you can see 12 into 4 48 15 into 460, you have got the perfect reference. So when you look into the formula, I'm just going to use control tilt again to show you the formula. You can see D8 into E7, D8 into F7, D8 is 12. Again, D8 into G7 is 3, D8 12 into 
4. And again, when you look into it, 15 into 1, 15 into 2, 15 into 3, and 15 into 4. Control tilt again. So now you have got the right one. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more such videos. See you soon.